All right, so we have our dashboard. Okay, we've got our dashboard. Now we're going to share it. So I'm going to explain uh, a little bit more about how the sharing works in Tableau in contrast to probably to, to how it's traditionally done, right, with like Excel, for example. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to publish this, then I'll explain kind of the uh, the ideologies and the system and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go server, right? I'm going to go publish, right? Now you're going to need a Tableau site. If you're the first person to use it in your organization, you're going to have to create a site. And it's really simple to do. You basically pick a site name and then it gets housed on Tableau server or Tableau online, right? And you just click this button. So because I already got a site, um, I don't really have to do that. And usually if you're you're in your company, your IT division will set that up for you, right? Because they're going to, you know, have the site for you, right? So for now, I'm going to connect, right? So I'm going to connect to my server site. All right, so let's log in. All right, let's log in. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to publish my results online because I need a good way of sharing the data. Previously, it used to just be, you know, you do your Excel calculation, then you email your file around or you get an email with summarized results. And they're very kind of one dimensional and don't really serve a lot of people. Whereas in Tableau, a single dashboard can solve so many different issues. Right, so in terms of publishing, just like everywhere else, in terms of file storage, you have folders, you know, you have subfolders, that kind of thing. So in Tableau, you have different types of projects that you can publish into. So I'm just going to publish into this one. Right, I'm going to call it Udemy Training. You should add a description for like data governance so that you know what it is. Tags, I'm going to ignore. And I'm not going to publish everything. I'm just going to publish the dashboard because the dashboard actually contains these sheets already. Okay, so click out there. All this stuff you don't have to touch at the moment, and you just hit publish. Okay, now that's going to churn and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead to Tableau for a second while that does its thing. Now, if you remember, there's like four main areas of Tableau. Tableau Desktop, Prep, Server, and Tableau Online. The ones we're going to discuss are Tableau Desktop and Online. So here's how it works. All right? pretend you're... Uh, I'm going to divide the page into two. So let's just get rid of that. So let's say about two pages. The left is Excel, right? And the right is Tableau. And the way it used to work is you develop your Excel file, right? Then you put it into an email, and the email goes out to each person, right? It's It goes one way. Now let's say you updated your file. So it has to go up again right into a file and get sent off now if you forget to for example email it to this guy then his version or her version is out of date and there's no way of knowing if it's out of date unless you speak to him you run into him or it comes up in conversation so there's a there's a big problem with having a one source of truth issue okay and i've experienced this many many times in a lot of organizations where you know, there's literally hundreds of files, if not thousands, floating around every single day being emailed across. It's hard to keep track, right? And some information is far more important than others. Some involve money, right? And so the information that your managers make decisions off or your workmates has to be the right stuff, right? If, if they have an old one that contains errors and they don't know about it, I mean, that's, again, money down the toilet. Now, with Tableau, it works a little bit differently. Okay, so let's get my trusted blue. So I'm down here, right? Again, you do your analysis. So similar like Excel, you do your analysis and you publish to the cloud. Okay, you don't email. There's no emailing. So now we have our cloud. Actually, what I'll do is let's draw like a cloud. Okay, right? You got your cloud in there. Now the difference between Tableau and Excel is that instead of it going outwards independently, everyone goes to the cloud, right? It goes this way. So everyone goes to the same place. So anytime anyone's discussing, oh, what are the latest results? Everyone goes to the same spot for those results, right? And whatever's in there is the latest data. So there's one source of truth. Also, it means I don't have to email 
10 or 20 different files to 10 or 20 different people, right? Which I used to have to do. Nowadays, I publish the one file to the cloud and that one dashboard can service like 10, 20, even 30 people at once, right? Because of the filters, because of the way it, it has behavior, right? So let me show you how it works, right? So pretend I'm a manager, right? And I'm like, hey, Jed, where's that data? You know, kind of have, have you published that kind of thing? So like, obviously it'll be published online. This is the online kind of portal, right? And as a manager, I log in. I go into basically our folders and I look for the file that Jed had just made, right? And this is the dashboard we were looking at. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, right? And again, I'm going to pretend to be a number of different people. Let's say I'm a senior executive and I manage at a region level. That means I don't really need to know subcategory, right? All I'm interested in is who is not making profit, right? And that's these four here. Okay, so for me as a senior director, all I'm going to say to my, you know, sub-directors or managers go, guys, Netherlands, having a lot of issues, please investigate. After you're done with that, please check Sweden, Portugal, and Ireland, then report back to me. That's all they need to know. And my managers these days, that's all they do, right? Well, not all they do, but that's the area that they look at, right? They're going to look at the high-level stats. They're going to be like, okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's where we're going to go. Here's where we're going to look. Do you need any help? If not, carry on. Then you got like mid-level managers. So let's say I go to someone, okay, please check out Netherlands. So the same person, uh, like a, a different person can come into the same dashboard and be like, all right, let's check Netherlands. So he clicks on that, right? And now he's got all the Netherlands stats. So he can see in terms of profit, none of them are profiting, right? So furniture, office, and technology, we're not profiting at all. So what is going on? So let's take a look at furniture, right? So let's look at the highest one, 15,000, right? And let's see what that breaks down to. We've got bookcases, chairs, tables, and furnishings. So again, bookcases, what is going on? This is where we're losing most money, okay? Now the manager goes to the next level down and goes, hey, Mr. or Mrs. So-and-so, right? There is a big issue with furniture uh, with bookcases in Netherlands, right? We are not making a profit at all. What is going on? Now, this person could be an analyst, right? Like the lower level in terms of granularity of data. So they're going to see this and go, all right, $7,800, right? That we're not making a profit on. What is this data? So they can click on this, right? You just wait a second, let it float. You go to this button right here and you go view data. What that does is it opens up a new window and it shows you what that information is made of. And there's kind of three levels. The first is a summary, which is just what you saw from that graphic. When you click on full data, it shows it in a table, right? But again, kind of summarized. And then if you click show all columns, it shows the entire data set. So they can do deeper analysis, right? And what they can do is download all rows as a text file that gives it to you in a CSV, right? Which again, if this is someone else in a whole different state, they can just grab the CSV themselves. They can grab what they need to do, and then they can do their job. There's a lot less requests going through me, right? There's a lot less, oh, Jay, can you do this analysis? Oh, can you do this analysis? Because in a single Tableau workbook, I can spit out 20 different dashboards, each dashboard for someone else. So it's a lot less work and time for me, but the output is significantly higher, right? And so that's how the publication works. Okay, um, usually when you start off getting it into a company, um, it's not a good idea, in my opinion, to go straight for on-premise server. It, keep it simple, you know, you don't need an on-premise server. Start with just a desktop license, one online for your boss, right? And just use Tableau servers for the beginning until you get it implemented, right? Um, but that's a whole nother subject entirely. So hope you enjoyed this video and I'll show you, I'll, I'll see you next time.